Hey guys, welcome again to my new video. In this video, you are going to be learning how to install any version of Flutter uh, SDK, any version of Flutter SDK. But before we proceed, please and um, please subscribe to my channel. It is very, very important. Just click the subscribe button. I will appreciate it. Please and um, please. Okay, so without further ado, let's go back to the video. So the first thing you're going to do is to go to get started. So under get started, and this current video that I'm doing, it's applicable to any operating system. If you are using Windows, if you are using Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, I believe this is going to work. But for me, I use Mac OS. So if you are using Windows, go to Windows. So for Mac OS users, I'm going to click on Mac OS. And over here, I'm going to um, get the SDK manually. So normally, currently, we have the version 3.3.9 as the latest version. But... I really wish to go to 3.0. I don't want to use 3.3.9. Okay, so to do that, you're going to go to SDK releases page. So over here, you are going to locate the one that is so that is um working for your version of Windows. So at the moment, we have for Windows, we have for uh, Mac OS, and we have for Linux. So for those who are under Mac OS, we are going to go into this channel, and for those who are under Windows, you go to, into this channel. Okay, so let me go back to Mac OS channel which is currently um, the supported version for me. So here now you can see we have several versions of Flutter SDK. So I'm going to be going for this 3.0.0. Uh, so here we have two series of this um, SDK. We have the stable channel and we have the beta channel. So anyone that really suits you, you can go for it. But for me, I really want the 3.0.0. So here now we have two different versions yes two different versions for the mark ways so here we have the silicon and here we have the um uh, by 86 which is the intel so for you that are using intel for your mark ways go for this um for me that i'm using m1 or m2 you can go for this a rm okay which is the silicon um version so i'm going to download for my version which is um 64 click on this 3.0.0 so i'm going to click on download so you can also do the same from your end click on download and save it to um, your system this is going to process the download so i'm going to pause this video while this download is completed okay so my um file has finished downloading so over here now, as you can see i have it downloaded so i'm going to um show this in finder as you can see i have this in my finder so i'm going to double click to um, extract it it is currently extracting so give it a little time to finish extract the file. okay so this is going okay not too long good so here now i have a new folder called flutter 3 so i double click on the folder and as you can see we have this file so in case you are not seeing the hidden files I will recommend you using command shift dot to bring it out and to close it down because if you did not move all the files we have here including the hidden files there will be an issue let me show you what i'm saying so for example now if i highlight everything that i have here ctrl c and go to the root directory where my flutter project is currently existing for example if i go to my terminal and try to use flutter doctor you are going to see what i'm talking about so sorry about that flutter doctor okay so this is currently processing so this is going to show my current version of my flutter um, sdk as you can see i have version 3.3.9 and we want to override this version 3.3.9 to version 3.0.0 which is the one we downloaded from the um, stable channel of the flutter development area okay so now i'm going to go back to my file manager and over here what i want to show you the other time is if you highlight everything that we have here and you copied it without the um hidden extension which is the dots github and the rest 
it's not going to work it's going to give you issue so let me just show you this issue before you proceed so copy everything you have here without those github dot um dot extension which is the hidden files if i copy everything that i have here now go to my root area where i have my flutter installed enter the flutter folder and everything that i have here i need to now override it so before i can override i need to actually make it empty like pure blank so to do that i'm going to bring out the hidden area so to bring out the hidden area use command shift dot on mac os so on windows i believe there should be a way you guys can do that so command shift dot to bring it back command shift dot to take it out so for emptying this current folder area you need to actually bring it out so that you can delete it so i like everything move everything to bin and yeah that's gone so go to your bin you can also empty your bin because you don't need the 3.3.9 uh, anymore so that part is done so as you can see my folder is currently empty so let me go back to the folder area enter this folder as you can see the folder is empty and if i go to the terminal location and i try to run flutter doctor you're going to see the error as you can see we don't have what flutter installed so to go to to resolve this issue now we are going to go back to the folder again and paste what we copied the other time so now this is now dropped into this place as you can see we have the folder dropped without the github dot extension okay so now if i go back if i close this terminal and open it again just to try to run it um flutter doctor so if i do flutter doctor as you can see it says what file directory is not is not a clone of github project the reason why we have that error is because you did not copy the um dots github extension so to resolve this issue is very simple i like everything you already copied delete it move it to bin go to your bin and format your bin that is clear your bin that's what i mean so the bin has been cleared then i'm going to go back again to where i downloaded this file earlier so i'm going to open download area in a new tab because my current file manager supports new tab so i believe you guys should also experience that so open the flutter 3 in the new um, tab area so this is where i extracted the other version that i downloaded the other time i believe you remember that so i'm going to highlight everything that i have here with the hidden extension you know this hidden extension is uh is not visible the other time but now i'm going to use command shift dot to bring it out so then i'm going to highlight everything ctrl c then go to this flutter folder paste it here and uh, after this has been copied then you can try to run flutter doctor so this is trying to copy itself okay so it's going awesome so now we have this um dump into this place so i'm going to go to the terminal once again and run flutter doctor so flutter doctor so this time around it should work so as you can see it's trying to prepare the download of the latest um of the current version of 3.0.0 um, is the key alongside with the that that's what it's trying to do as you can see it says a new version of flutter is available but we currently don't need new version what we want is the 3.0.0 okay so i'm going to um pause this video while this download the required data from the internet and continue once it's done okay uh i guess we have the file already downloaded awesome so now as you can see we have what flutter 3.0.0 awesome so now we are now currently running on flutter 3.0.0 if i close my terminal and use the native terminal you're gonna see what i'm talking about is still the same version so flutter doctor as you can see coming up flutter doctor trying to access my current directory so this works flutter what 3.0.0 so if you are wondering what kind of terminal i'm using i use WAP terminal so you can also get that on google so just google search WAP terminal you're gonna see that so you can basically install any version of your choice from this location any version any version of your of your choice that you really care about you can download it using this format okay so thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video i will really love you to subscribe to my channel please and um, please i will appreciate it thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video see you in my next video bye